afternoon, everyone. Today is Tuesday, the day after the long weekend, um, and I'm on my way to get my nails done. I actually only had an appointment booked for next week, but then she, my lovely nail tech, let me know that she has an extra space available, or she had a cancellation for today, so. I um, can go today so I'm quickly going there because my nails are heavily grown out um, I just haven't had the time to go and sort that out so that is currently where I am going and um, yeah then after that I still need to go to the shops to buy something today is Eid, so Eid Mubarak to all my lovely besties celebrating today. Um, so yeah, I um, hope everyone enjoys their day and celebrates and eats, eats the best food. But anyways, I'm going to Nadira tomorrow. Today is Eid. I'm going there tomorrow and um, I just want to get to something just to say Happy Eid. Eid Mubarak, you know. Um, so yeah that's the plan and i just need to do my general shopping because my house is empty last night i literally made dinner from all the scraps that i had left in my kitchen so <laughs> that's the point where i'm at i need to buy a lot of stuff so i'll see you in the shops and when i'm done with my nails doodles. okay i know this lighting is not the best but um i was at the shops i got everything i needed you won't see it but it's there <laughs> and got myself a coffee um today has been a really tough day and i don't have any reason specific reason as to why it's just been hard for me to control my emotions and yeah it's just been a very very long and tough day so <laughs> Got myself a coffee and in attempt to cheer myself up. Did not work. I'm still feeling very down in the dumps. Mm. I got my nails done. They are the pretty brown color. I just feel so good to have fresh, short, painted nails again because... Yo, I think I wasn't even at the at my nail tech last month. I went in March the last time and we are currently in May. So that should tell you how bad it was. Um so yeah, that was good. Now I need to go and pack all of my groceries out. I got some things that I need to give to people. Um uh, one of my colleagues is expecting a baby so we're just making up a little bit of a parcel for her i felt so weird because i went oh, i felt so weird because i went into clicks and i literally just got this one thing of baby wipes i think they either think i'm a really bad mother because i just got my kids some <laughs> baby wipes but anyways it's fine um it's just for like a little hamper of baby stuff but anyways i need to go in to my house now i'm just sitting out here and procrastinating the lighting is probably super terrible and I apologize for that, but we make do with what we have at the moment. We cannot be picky. I'm just surprised I'm actually speaking to a camera because the vibes are not there today. Not at all. You know, it's winter when these bad boys come out. Just FYI, these are my home slippers. Um, I don't go out in these unless I'm just going to the shops. <laughs> I just felt like I had to clarify that. Okay, this is definitely not straight. <laughs> okay, um, I thought, let me just give you a little grocery haul. I'm watching some YouTube in the background, so... I hope you can hear me. Maybe I should just wait. Just quickly pause that. Okay, I already showed you the baby wipes that I just got for my colleague. Then I got some Future Life Necessity. Well, it is for me. Um, veggie patties because I love a veggie burger. And they were on 
sale at Big and Bay. Got some chalkies for Nadira and her husband for eat in coffee pots. Because I've been living without coffee in the morning and it's not, it hasn't been it. And then I also got these Indomie noodles. If you haven't tried this yet, I don't know, you've been living under a rock or like something. These are the best. You get them at Pick and Pay. Um, love. Absolutely love. And yeah, that is it. Now I need to make my food because I'm super hungry. I feel like I'm going to collapse if I don't eat something. So if I see you again, I'll see you again. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello besties, it's been a hot minute since I have picked up the camera and spoken to you um, but I'm not sure how much I filmed um, last week to put in this vlog so I thought let me just show you some things that I bought and not wear from Sheen Now, um, love it or hate it I know there's mixed feelings about Sheen so um, if you don't like Sheen just click away don't watch the rest of this video but if you do want to give it a chance have a little look see so for the first time I've actually ordered something I've ordered from Shein before I think like twice or thrice um, but for the first time I ordered some homeware from them so I will insert the pictures uh, screenshots of the products that I'll be showing over here somewhere <laughs> and you can check them out if you want to with Shein it's obviously a bit of hit or miss for me personally I've ordered things from them that I love and then I've also ordered things from them that I don't love as much alright so the first thing that I got was actually two pillow covers I think in a vlog or two back I said like I'm a bit over my pillow covers that or pillows that I have on my couch and that I wanted to switch it up a little bit so I ordered this and as you can see it's like this I don't know waffle type of material but and it has these tassels and honestly the material is super nice um, I didn't have very high expectations I think this was like 60 rand or something um, so I was like you know what I can waste 60 rand if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but it's actually very nice and they this um, square size and then they also had a rectangular size so obviously it doesn't come with the inners, the inners I already had, so I just put this over my old pillows that I had on my couch. So highly recommend. The other pillow that I got is this um, textured pillow. This one is actually so nice and soft, softer than the other one. Um, the color is a bit darker than the other one. The other one is like a more of a creamy white and this is more like a stone color. But I like it because it tones in. I still have my other cover, pillow cover on my couch that I've had before. So this kind of just tones in and yeah, just all of the nudes makes me very happy, obviously. So once again, this one also came in a rectangular size and um, uh, it was only the pillow cover and not the, not the, in the actual inner. That's the word I was looking for. The inner. So, <clears throat> I ordered that. And then the other thing that I ordered, which is now a bit difficult to show you. I'll speak about it and add some video over it. Is a strip LED light. So, um, I got the strip LED light for my new TV. To put it on um, the edges at the back. And then, like, kind of have... A bit of a backlight situation I've seen it like on people's home tours or whatever you want to call it or mini vlog stuff that they film on TikTok and I actually really liked it I thought it creates a like an atmosphere so I got that and I think I got the three me no I got the two meter one and my TV is a foot no a 32 inch if I'm not mistaken and it was just enough like there's like a teeny tiny bit that is not covered so i think if you are planning on ordering ordering something like that just go for longer than you think because like i said i mm, actually and i thought it was going to be over enough and then it ended up being 
like maybe just a teeny tiny bit too short so um rather go more than less because you can cut it off and it's really cheap i think this was like 80 bucks um so that was that for homeware then in terms of clothing i also got a few things and i'm not going to try this on for you unfortunately because i'm in a bit of a rush but you know, I can, yeah, just show you. Um, so I saw this jumper and, or jumper, I would call it a jersey. Yeah. I love jerseys. Like, especially in winter time, like now, this time. I just, I could wear a jersey every single day to fly somewhere. Um, and I saw this. <sighs> How amazing. <laughs> like, I love it and it's like, like nice and loose here yeah, by the by the sleeves as you can see there and it's kind of cropped but not really like it, it does have like a stretchiness to it so it like tucks in a little bit and then it has this mock neck so the quality is amazing it does smell a little bit like I almost want to say plasticky but it's probably not plastic it just has a weird smell so you need to wash it but <clears throat> yeah i like it and the quality it's like really warm i wore i wore it yesterday without washing it so don't tell my grandmother um but yeah i wore it yesterday and it was actually like super warm um and comfy and the color i mean that is just such a vibe with the little wavy prints so i thought you know adding some color into my wardrobe for winter and that's actually quite funny because all three of the other, other items are black. <laughs> so the first other item I got was this mini skirt. It looks so tiny when I actually hold this up. It is quite short, like let me just say that. Um, but I was looking for like a type of mini skirt that I can wear over stockings. You'll see the other item I got as well. Um boots stockings this with a jersey or coat like i just saw it like i saw a few outfit inspirations if i can find it i'll add it in here for you what the idea behind it was um but yeah i think this was like honestly like 60 bucks or something which is ridiculous um it's a little bit transparent when i tried it on um but my idea was just like I'm anyways going to wear a coat over this. I'm not going to wear it like this with the crop top. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, I'll style it properly. Um, but I thought I'm anyways going to wear stockings underneath or a coat over it or something. So, it wouldn't be that much of a problem. So, yeah. This is the mini skirt. Then, oh. The other thing that I was planning on wearing over stockings and that I've actually been looking for since last winter season is a sweater dress. How am I going to show this all at once? <laughs> so it's this ribbed, can you see the fabric here? It's this ribbed jersey dress um, that is fitted and... The thing I love about Sheen, like if you are a fellow short person like myself, I'm a full 159 centimeters if you didn't know, um, Sheen's length of their clothing fits me perfectly. Like I don't have to flip over the, um, the pants or anything, like it actually just fits me, like my length. So this was... I had high hopes and it did not disappoint. Let me just put it like that. So it's the perfect length. Um, I have those Zara. I have those Zara like gumboot type of boots. I'll show you in a future vlog if I if I wear them somewhere along the line because I have this outfit in my head with this and some like sheer stockings with those boots. Will look great. Like honestly. I'm ready to go somewhere. <laughs> go on an outing with this outfit. Um, so yeah, this is the knit dress for over stockings. And even, I mean, in autumn slash spring, without stockings and just maybe something else. Like still boots maybe or maybe ankle boots. I don't know. And then the next item 
I'm literally taking the stuff off the hangers and I know myself and it's going to take three to five business days to get them back on these hangers. <laughs> the other item, I've ordered this before in a different color and I was just, why is this? And I was just so obsessed with it and the quality and the fit and everything that I had to order it in a different color and I literally want to order it in another color still. So it is this satiny satin midi skirt so i have this exact same one in this beigey golden champagne color please pay no mind to the fact that they need a, a, a iron but i'm an iron as you go type of gal so this is the this is the previous skirt that i ordered like this is the color of it it's this like champagne color obviously fits with basically all of my stuff and when I bought it, I was like, I'm going to see, maybe I, I'm not so bad the satin, always. So it was a good, like, I'm going to challenge myself to wear this. Um, and I actually wore it so much. And you can wear it down or you can dress it up. Like, it's so versatile, to my surprise, I must say. So, yeah, um, I usually wear this in, like, summer slash spring with, like, sneakers or boots or um, high heels for work um, but I thought for winter it would be nice to have a black one so that I can wear it still with like these type of tops and a blazer over it maybe with some ankle boots um, I also saw um, somebody styling Nuri um, she's one of these youtubers I absolutely love her style I wish I had a wardrobe I wish I had the money to buy the things that she has um, but she actually styled this with knee-high boots. And, well, not this specifically, just something similar. And let me just not tell, <laughs> tell the world that she is ordering from Sheen. She is definitely not. Um, but it was a longer length skirt and she actually wore these knee-high boots with it. And somehow it just worked. Like, it, will, it won't work with these gumboot. Zora gumboot vibes. Like, it, mm -mm. but other type of boots might work with it. So... Yeah, I'm just, you know, I love new items to just feel more inspired, dressing up and creating like outfits. I must say I get most of my outfit inspiration from Pinterest and lately also a little bit of TikTok and YouTube, of course. Um, I have my designated people that I follow for fashion, styling, whatever predicting of the trends and such so yeah I have been meaning or wanting to do like a workwear essentials winter workwear essentials for South Africa because I don't feel like there is a lot of people sp not speaking about it but you know giving ideas especially in a South African context the outfit inspiration is sometimes just not applicable to me because I really need to look professional um so yeah I thought maybe to make a video like that if there are other people like that out there so if that's something you would be interested in seeing let me know and I will definitely put a few items together that I feel like is essential to your workwear wardrobe um this is now my fourth year of working as a professional woman so I've built up quite a bit of a wardrobe. I remember like in my first two years, all of my money went to buying clothes because you come from university and then you just have this laid back, chill, lounge wear. Nobody gives a about what you are wearing, you know. Um, and then you suddenly need to, you know, put looks together and look professional and you don't have the budget to go and buy seven outfits or five new outfits for the whole week so I think going through or buying things I can tell you what not to buy because I didn't get a lot of wear out of it and what to buy and what to invest in and what maybe not to invest in so you can get away with a little bit of a cheaper option um so you want to let me know if that's something you would like to see because I would love to do that because I love dash on <laughs> oh I have one more thing to show you I have one more thing to show you wait 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 Yo, I almost forgot. Um, I got a new phone cover from Sheen. This is what it looks like. Let me just hide. Obviously, very me. 
this whole color scheme and like the vibes i just thought it was very fun so yeah i went for that um i actually bought one for my boyfriend as well and an additional one for me let me just see yeah. um i bought one for my boyfriend which is actually this one okay can this dog not but I think it's just worth mentioning that um, the phone covers on Sheen is literally like 12 rand. Like it's ridiculously cheap. So you shouldn't expect too much. Luckily my expectations were quite low. Although on Saturday this thing did bounce a solid few times on the concrete and nothing happened. Um, so mm, they still do the job. Yeah still do the job but yeah so i bought this one for him actually and i don't know let me just hide i don't know if you can see but it's like kind of the printing is not done so well so yeah i don't think this is actually i don't know if you can pick that up on the camera it might look cute on the camera i don't know but yeah in in real life you can see it's just a bit fuzzy um like you could see on a printer if it prints like a bit fluffy i don't know if that's the right word but that's how it looks in real life so he didn't go with this one i got myself one that's similar to this but in hot pink typically my boyfriend will go for the most unexpected thing is he a man walking around with a pink phone case absolutely why are you even yeah, that's just him. But any case, so he took the one that I got because I thought, oh, cute, we can match. But now he doesn't want this one because it looks cheap, which I agree, it does look cheap. And the other one turned out fine. So I'm going to link that one here. I'll put it on here somewhere. So if, obviously, I don't have it with me. It's not with me. But if you do want to, if you like the design, just go for that one and not this one. Um... And like I said, the phone covers are literally like 12 to 25 rand, honestly. I can't remember exactly how much this one was, but I will obviously also put it up for you um, to go check out. But sure, that's that. I thought I would just pop that in to this video so that you have something to look at. And if there's something you want to order for the upcoming winter season, you can do that. Uh, my order took about two and a half weeks to get here, so yeah. Still order, you can still order, and also um, please check the reviews, that's usually what I do. But even though I still did that, there were still a few flops. Um, the phone case and the little bit transparent mini skirt. I think if I read that somewhere, I probably wouldn't have ordered it. So, um, but that's that, so just check the reviews, and if there's something you would like to order get on it or don't if you dislike sheen i'm not forcing anyone to do anything i'm just showing you what i got so thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you would like this face saying more things to you in the future <laughs> have a great day have a great week i'll see you again toodles